Hello guys, welcome to the chapter Crafting Great Content for Twitter. In this lesson, we're going to talk about using hashtags properly. Let's get started. Hashtags are mostly used on any social media channel. On Twitter, it is an essential part of your tweets, especially if you want to make your posts searchable on Twitter. It's a great way to get your tweets discovered by a wider audience on Twitter. Your bio is a section of your profile where you must include hashtags. You can make your brand's hashtag and encourage your customers to use them as they post their tweets. You can use your brand's tagline to create your brand hashtag. In this example, this is their brand's tagline. Now let's check out their tweets. You can see here that they promote their products on their tweets. They use these hashtags in their promotion. This is their brand's tagline, and they have used it as their brand hashtag. This hashtag is also their brand hashtag that pertains to their community of the same interest with health and fitness. Their customers use it. If you click on this hashtag, you will see tweets from their customers. If you're a potential customer and you want to find out more reviews or feedback from their customers, then you can use their brand hashtags that their customers use to check out their tweets. You will know from these tweets how satisfied their customers are and if their products are effective. As a business competitor, you can use their brand hashtag to check out your competitor's community. You'll be able to check every tweet from these people who use their hashtag. And you'll be able to know what their customers like and the problems that they encounter. That can be your opportunity to create ideas that you can use to be more effective in using hashtags in your business. You can look for ideas that the brands in the same industry use and you can pattern that idea or improve it. Doing this will help improve your brand's content to be discovered by more potential audience. If you use hashtags on your tweets, make sure that your hashtags are readable since they don't have spaces in between them. If it contains multiple words, every keyword on your hashtag should start with a capital letter. This way, it will be easier to read and understand your hashtags as you use multiple keywords. As you can see in this example tweet, this user used multiple hashtags and they are all in small letters. Compared to this hashtag, this hashtag with capital letters is easier to read than the other hashtags with small letters. Don't overdo hashtags on your tweets. You have 280 characters that you can use in your tweets. Don't use them all just for hashtags. People won't see your tweets as a valuable content if you overdo your hashtags compared to using just two or three hashtags in your tweets. You must make it a goal to target the right people and not just more people. It's better to give more importance on quality rather than quantity. You may have more potential audience reach, but the number of interested users is not targeted properly. It's best that you use a few relevant hashtags on your tweets. Now that you know about using hashtags properly, we can now proceed to the next topic, finding great content using hashtags. I'll see you there.